grubs probably aren't your problem. So quit rushing out to throw the kitchen sink at your lawn just because you think something is wrong or might go wrong. Let things play out every once in a while. I think you'll be surprised at what you find. Besides the people selling stuff on YouTube, what makes you think you really have grubs in your lawn or will have them? Do you need to be going out and applying a preventative or curative application ever? Seriously though, think about that. If you don't have a good reason to, you're wasting time and money, if you ask me. Kind of like our conversation about fertilizing and soil tests last week, I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. Brown patches in your lawn don't automatically mean you've got grubs. Consider this, especially if you're a Bermuda grass lawn owner. And you don't even have to take my word for it, because it comes from Oklahoma State University's extension office. White grubs are rarely a problem in Bermuda grass, but typically damage cool season grasses like bluegrass and fescue. In general, preventative treatments are not recommended unless the area to be treated has a history of white grub infestations and is clearly demarcated. Or how about this from the Texas A&M Aggies Turf website? Not all lawns, athletic fields, or golf courses require regular treatment for white grubs. Yet some sites that are prone to white grub damage may need to be treated on an annual basis. Chew on that for a second. Mm. If you really did have a grub infestation, the roots of your grass would be gobbled up and you could roll it up like carpet. It would be obvious and you would know it. If you've had a history of grub problems or your lawn is more important to you than your family, then perhaps a preventative or curative application may be justified. Otherwise, you can rest easy doing nothing. Believe it or not, it takes a lot more for grubs to become a problem in your lawn than you might think. Here are some things you can do to confirm they're on the attack. Obviously, seeing one is a solid place to start. Last spring, I noticed a couple little holes in my lawn and did a little digging around and found a couple grubs. Did I rush out to apply chemicals all over the place? Nope. Did anything to that spot or any other area of my lawn go wrong that would indicate to me that I was invaded by grubs? Nope. Your grass is actually a lot stronger than you realize. If you're taking care of all the cultural practices like you should be, and it has developed really strong roots, then the grass can withstand a few grubs munching around in the lawn with no impacts. When you see an area in your lawn that just doesn't look like the rest, maybe it's yellowing or dying, do some investigating. If the grass pulls up really easily and you see some grubs, here's what you need to know to justify a treatment. It typically takes five to 10 grubs feeding per square foot to start causing damage. In some cases, even higher numbers, eight to 10 per square foot can be tolerated. If the grub population is low and you're mowing, watering, and fertilizing properly, you should be able to stay ahead of any harm they may cause. Seeing a single grub shouldn't be cause for alarm. But I get it, you might not want to dig around and tear up a small part of your lawn just to find out what's lurking below. So here are a few things you can look out for above. Armadillos, they love to eat grubs. Hugo. We have eyes on Hugo. We have eyes on Hugo. He's here. He's here. You little son of a gun. Don't get me started. I've had my fair share of armadillo problems. Also, if you turn on the patio light at night and you see a swarm of beetles overtake your patio, probably some grubs around. Also, if you look out your window and there's a large number of birds poking their beaks into the turf looking for something to eat, maybe that's why they're called grubs. <laughs> okay, bad joke. I get it, but birds, they, they like to eat grubs too. They also like eating army worms. So birds aren't always that bad to have around. If you ask me, they're natural pest control at its best. 
Maybe, just maybe though, all these signs don't point to your yard. So here's where you should look next. As you're driving or walking through your neighborhood, do a little rubbernecking. See if you can spot some big dead patches that perhaps could be caused by grubs. Obviously, you can't really know for sure. Maybe your neighbors just don't care about their lawn like you do. Even still, you could kind of get an idea of whether or not grubs might be causing damage nearby. And if you see something that looks similar or suspicious in your lawn, then perhaps you've already got some unwanted roommates or they may be close to moving in. <laughs> At the end of the day though, it's really not that big of a deal. There are a lot of beneficial critters crawling around in your soil. So applying an insecticide to kill them isn't always the right decision for what might happen. Thanks for watching. See you soon.